Have you seen Brenda today? I am not the Brenda Barrett special correspondent. Don't come to me for regular reports. Um, I just, I just want to tell you that I really appreciate how you take care of her. It's really, uh, it's a really good thing. And? A couple days ago, you came, you, you told me yourself, you said that uh, Brenda loved me, right? And, you know, in less than 24 hours, she's done a, a, a complete 180 turn. She doesn't want to see me. She seems really scared. Well. She has reason to be. She's afraid of the Balkan. It's more than that. She's afraid in her heart. She's vulnerable. She's fragile. Something's going on. And I'm just wondering if you have any idea what that is. Don't you have enough on your plate without running down cold cases? Thank you for, you know, everything. But uh, this is really starting to affect the people that I love, and I think I just need to take my chances and leave poor Charles. Well, I told you I'd take you back to Rome. I'll take you anywhere that you want to go. You just got to tell me the truth about why the Balkan is after you. You want to help her, you'll leave her alone. I just went over to Jason's to check on her. After she asked you to stay away? I was worried about her. No! no. You were pressuring her to change her mind. No. That's not what happened. No? Proximity equals opportunity. Isn't that There's the way you operate when it comes to Brenda? There's something else going on with Brenda. When you're around, Brenda's emotional growth goes right out the window. She reverts back to the girl she was when you met. She gives up all her power to you. But that doesn't work for Brenda anymore. So that creates a conflict. She wasn't like that in Rome. How do you know what she was like in Rome? You saw her? Of course I did. And we talked, and we got clear on a few things. Uh-huh. Yeah. And did you get clear on the fact that she needs distance from you to maintain her emotional stability? You don't bring out the best in Brenda. I see that more and more every day. I just want to help her. Brenda is afraid of who she is when she's with you. She's terrified that if she gets close to you again, she'll lose herself. Like I said before, there's something else going on with Brenda. I can see it in her eyes. Something's tearing her apart. You know more than you're saying from the start. You know exactly why this guy's after you, but you're afraid of the truth and you're getting more afraid all the time. So protect me. I'm trying to protect you. I just need you to cooperate. Okay. Bigger problem than you signed on for. But I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna you fix it. You, you wanna spend the rest of your life running? No. Then help me. Please just tell me what's going on. I promise you, I won't say anything to anybody. I'm sorry, I don't know what he wants. Well, then I guess we're gonna have to wait till he shows up. I don't like that plan. All you gotta do is give me something to work with. You were upset last night. Why would you let Sonny up I there? I didn't know he was going up there. But if it makes any difference, after what happened last night, Sonny agreed to stay away from you. Brenda's fighting something inside herself. And you're the only one who can help her with that? Is that what you think? I love her. Brenda wants you to stay away from her. You need to respect that. Let her work it out on her own. What happened to wanting to try with me again? She came to her senses. <sighs> you know, I don't, I, maybe it's just me, but it just seems like you, you don't like me very much. <laughs> um, listen, I'm not gonna stand around and watch Brenda fall apart. I am beginning to understand why she refused to come back to Port Charles. You have your life, she has hers. Don't take that away from her. You need to respect what she wants you to do. Just leave her alone. Thank you, exactly. I 
already told you, so I agreed to leave you alone. You're getting what you want. Thank you. He also said I should try to be a little more patient with patient. you. Patient? I, I, I don't need you to treat me like a child, all right? This wait, wait a minute. Are you, are you hiding the truth to protect somebody else? No, what, uh, of course I'm not. What well, are you, you, what are you talking about? I'm not hiding. you secret's you because you can hurt I, a lot of people. I, I need some caffeine. Can you just answer the question, please? Can I just get some coffee? By the time you get scared enough to tell the truth, I hope it's not too late. Hey, how's Brenda? Uh, the sooner I get her back to Rome, the better off we're all gonna be. Did she say anything about the ball? Uh, no, I don't okay. care. Did you tell her? I, I agree now. I'll back off. I just I'll keep... A perfumed envelope, hand-delivered. It's very Marriage of Figaro, don't you think? You know what? We should have an opera night here. Conan. Yeah? That would bring customers. We don't want customers. Oh, of course. Well, what was I thinking? So what is it? Uh, well, it's just a, a, an invitation from Claire. So, you know, you can... Uh... Had a rough night? I'm fine. Doesn't Jason have a coffee maker? Oh, for the love of God. Can a girl have an espresso in this town without everybody having an opinion about it? I am not your enemy. Well, sometimes Brent. it's hard to tell. Okay, okay. So you're in pain and you're taking it out on everyone around you, myself included. As a coping mechanism, it's not my favorite. Especially when there's a simple solution to all of this. The simplest way to stop all of this is to tell Jason, and he can stop the Balkan, oh. and you can get out of Port Charles. Oh, okay, Susan, I'll just talk to Jason about everything. Why? Because you think he's cute? Brenda, Jason has put his whole life into turmoil for you, to take care of you. I don't understand why you keep antagonizing him. All right, now you're going to yell at me. You're right, I deserve it. You have got to stop this. Something is going to fall apart, and I don't want it to be you. So tell Jason whatever it is you know about the Balkan. Look, Jason, tell Sonny everything. Well, uh, what is it you're so desperate to keep Sonny from finding out? I'm not going to sit here and be interrogated again. Of course, Mr. Krinthos. Wow. You look like a million bucks. This is a lovely place. A little way out of the, you know, out of the way, but... Follow me, please. Your table, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Would you prefer your wine now? I called to check what they had in the cellar first. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be good. Yeah. I'm impressed with the advanced planning. Well, you know, I like wine, great food, and I'm glad you're here. I could say the same. Oh, they got uh, sea bass and so unless, of course, that you can't eat any fish unless you catch it yourself. Uh, I, uh not take the precaution of calling ahead and checking on the menu, but uh, I have to uh, catch up, I guess. What's good? Enjoy your meal. <laughs> uh, do, do you have to ask that question? I just want to enjoy the night. Okay. Why don't we have, why don't we, uh, have a toast to enjoy the night? Just a second of privacy. Yeah, no problem, no problem. We didn't mean to overstep. 
No, you didn't. <laughs> it's just been a long day, so if I could just have a few seconds. You know seconds. what? No problem. We'll just we'll be up here. You're my hero. My favorite is how you can scream at photographers and order gelato all at the same time. Good I think this is my new favorite gelato place. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's good. I'm glad you like it. It's, it's not as good as Ben's and hers, but uh, what can you do? Do you feel sad? Why? That you didn't order the chocolate? No, yeah, I, didn't, you do. I didn't want, I don't even like chocolate. I like spumoni. That's why I get okay. it every time I get gelato. It's good. <laughs> it was good. It wasn't, again, not as good as Ben's and hers, but Oh, come on, who are we kidding? It doesn't get any better than this. I'm just, I'm glad you're eating something. I don't want you fainting on me again. Uh, thanks for not telling anybody about that. I'm just doing my job. I think you might be good at your job. 